Hello my beautiful darlings and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, go ahead and subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. We're going to be doing a 99 cent store beauty haul because I've seen a lot of your DMs and we're going to be testing out these different makeup brands that I've seen from the store and also all over like social media. I've seen things on like TikTok, on Instagram that have gone viral. Um, testing out Basically like dollar makeup from like Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, even TJ Maxx from what I've seen. But not everything is worth the hype over the internet. So that is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be breaking it down, seeing if these lipsticks are really matte, seeing if these products are really worth it. Cause I did get a lot of products besides lipsticks. I got mascaras, eyeliners, everything. So we're going to be testing it out. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you haven't already, what your favorite makeup brand is. It helps boost the algorithm and Let's continue. Okay, so we have first off these lipsticks all from the 99 cent store and these are the Ioni brand as you can see and the packaging is so, so cute. I'm really in love with the packaging. I wasn't expecting it to be vegan and cruelty free which is so cool when a cheap brand is vegan and cruelty free. So this is such a bonus because not many brands even at like all 10 so far are even like vegan or cruelty free. So you gotta head to the 99 cent store and check this out. But we're gonna go ahead and start with the matte lip Six. I have this one and looks kind of purple. Looks actually really cute. Comes in like this pink packaging and I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. So this is what it looks like. It says Ioni and it says liquid lipstick and this one's matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on my hand to see if the consistency is there and Oh my goodness, it does smell good too. So the consistency is there and it smells really great. And this is kind of the shade I'm gonna show it to you. It's right on my hand. It looks kind of like, again, it looks like a purpley kind of berry color. It's really cute. It's really great for like an evening wear and it's kind of taking a while to dry matte, but it does stick on like a matte lipstick. So this one is definitely a very nice lipstick that they have and I think it really does the job. So I would definitely Definitely buy this. I'm actually using another one right now and it's like in a different shade and I mixed it up with like a different matte lipstick that I got from Sephora. So I definitely do like their matte lipsticks. They do really hold on very well. The next one is going to be this one. It's in the purple container. This one is called Cupid's Bow. It's such a cute name. I actually like their names. The first name actually, let me get it real quick. The first one was High Tea. So the first one that I tried was High Tea. And then the next one is Cupid's it spell. So this is like a very very light pink. You can mix it with like this one, the one that I just swatched on my hand and you can make like a very neutral matte lipstick. So if you think this is too bright of a pink, then you can definitely mix it with like a darker pink or another color. But I really like the smell. They actually all smell really great. It doesn't have a strong scent. It smells more like a flower. So it's definitely nice because usually like cheap makeup, they smell very chemically and I really do not like lipsticks that smell like chemicals, especially like cheap brands. There's so many brands out there that are very portable and they do smell really bad like chemicals. So this one is really nice. I really do like their consistency and the smell. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next one. And this lip gloss is in the green packaging. Kind of looks like a nude pink and this is called pastel princess very cute okay so i already swatched on the lip gloss and this one is really cute because it reminds me of like a very peach or nude color and it's very shiny it's actually very pigmented just like the matte lipsticks which is such a plus because i find so many lip glosses that aren't very consistent or very pigmented they they are kind of like watered down so you can't really see the pigment but this one really does pick up and it's only a dollar i cannot believe that all this is only a dollar and it smells so good just like the other like lipsticks it smells like the same with the lip gloss so such a bonus but I'm gonna go ahead and try this other one this one is called their fat smoky chubby stick and I think this is their eyeshadow so I'm gonna go ahead and try that this one is in the shade take me to Paris I think that's actually a really cute name. So this is what it looks like. It's a very nice black and it's very consistent. It's super nice because you can really smoke it out.
out. You can't really see it, but in person, it's like very like smudgy as I put it on my hand, as you can see. I'm just gonna do one more time. It comes out very like smooth where you can smudge it out like a smoky eye, just like the name of the, the actual eyeshadow. So really cute. This is really great. And this is even their eyeshadow. And this is so cool. It's for more of like a smoky eye. So you can do so much with that for like the fall, for like Halloween, different looks or a date night. You can do so many looks with that. So the next thing I'm going to try is their Fat Lips Chubby Stick. And this one is in the shade Rich. And this is in like their blue container. They all have different colors. So that's why I'm just like saying like which container is which just in case if you go out to the 9th and start today and get these lipsticks or these different products that I'm just watching for you guys. So this one is again in the shade Rich. And I'm going to go ahead and try it. This one is more of like a purpley shade. Wow. See, this one's the same consistency as the other one. It's super matte and it doesn't smell that bad. It smells like a little bit chemically, but it's not that bad. Again, it's vegan and it's cruelty free, so it's really nice. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. See, that's what it looks like. It's the last one right here. And it looks like a very nice pink or kind of like a purple. It's kind of like a berry and this is definitely for an eyeshadow. So you can kind of like put it on your eyelid and then just smudge it out with your finger, just like the black one. And there's so many different looks that you can do and you can also top a nice um, matte eyeshadow on top of it. This is what these chubby sticks are for. So definitely worth the buy and it's even matte. So if you don't have any other eyeshadows, you can already just leave it the way it is because it just dries out matte as you see on my hand. In person, you can definitely see it more because the camera might not pick it up, but yeah, it's definitely matte and it can definitely use no powders and just set on its own. So yeah, we're going to go to the next one. So this is their Ioni Pencil Eyeliner and this is in the shade Arrest. Did I say that right? Yeah. A-R-I-S-T-E. Okay. Comment down below if I said it right. Arrest. I don't know how to say that name, but it's in the kind of like a peach um, container. We're going to go ahead and open it and see if it's a good eyeliner. I do love a nice eyeliner for like my waterline if I want to do like a cat eye and just like make my eyes look even more like dark. It's really Really great for that so we're gonna go ahead and try it right below all the swatches that I just did and oh wow so this is definitely not a matte eyeliner which is kind of sad because I really do like a matte eyeliner this is kind of a little shiny and it seems more smudgy than the than the chubby sticks that I just swatched the one that was like black for the smoky eye this one's definitely more uh, shiny which isn't good because if you're gonna be putting it in your waterline or if you're gonna be making like a cat eye it's going to come out very smudgy it might wear out through the day and that's not long lasting so I'm gonna say for once their eyeliner is probably not a good one because it does not look like it would stay on for a very long time but this is what it looks like here you can see that it's like super dark darker than this one right here but this one which was their chubby stick it's more of a matte than this one and this is their eyeliner and for an eyeliner I would like it for it to be matte because then it's more long lasting lasting and it stays but yeah it's too sheer it's too shiny and it looks like it's just gonna smudge off and let me see if it smudges off right now yeah it kind of smudges off more than the other one but it did dry a little bit so you can definitely try for yourself but yeah let me know down below if it worked out for you but for me I'm just gonna pass on this one and next things we have is their eyelash glue which I've been trying for the last couple of days and these are so cute the glue is really great Great, but one of the things I don't like about this glue is that it's super super small and you don't really get a lot of glue out of it so you're gonna constantly have to reapply onto your lash if you're gonna be putting the glue on it but this is what it comes out to the bristle is actually super small and even like the thing itself is super small the eyelash glue so if you're gonna use it you're gonna have to use it like 10 times but usually with my like Ardell or my duo like eyelash glue I'll use like two swipes and I'm done but this one I I need like 10 swipes but it's really good so definitely buy it okay so the next thing is your dramatic black mascara I'm definitely not gonna try this on because I already have my eyelashes and my mascara on but I did already try this one their voluminizing black mascara so I've already tried this one but this one is a different one upside down excuse me but this one's chunky and then this one is like thinner and this is in the green packaging this one's in the blue packaging so definitely do try it this one is a amazing though so go ahead and buy I'm actually using it right now on my eyes and it's really great it's waterproof and then this one
one is for lengthening and it's still waterproof and they both smell amazing. So shout out to Ioni. You're amazing. I love you. You guys are so cool. Okay, so the next things I'm going to try on is this L'Oreal Matte Lipstick. And this one is the only thing in this haul that is not a dollar. It's $1.99, but still it has the dollar in it. I mean, come on. You know, just taxes add to it. But this is the lipstick that I'm actually using right now. And I was really shocked that they had L'Oreal. I was like, what the heck, L'Oreal? This is like a name brand that I see at like my drugstore. CVS, Walgreens, even Ulta. And I'm like, what? But this one, I think this one is in the shade let me see, Peach Pit. And this one is the one that I'm using right now and I mixed it with my Sephora lipstick that I said earlier. I really love it and don't mind my little cut. I have a little cut from earlier, so do not mind that, but I really do like it. It's name brand, it's L'Oreal, it's going to be good. But now we're gonna be going in NYX in Buenos Aires, that is the shade. And this is their Soft Matte Lip Cream. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Okay, this packaging is so hard to open. It's been a while since I've gotten a lipstick from NYX. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna be trying their matte lip cream from NYX, and this is matte. It's kind of like a bubblegum color, but it's more like a tropical and a nude, but it's really cute. I like it, and it's really mattifying. Again, this is from NYX, so it's gonna come out good, so. That is a bonus. I can't believe they have all these lipsticks from the Nike 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 store. It's just, it's incredible. Okay, so now we're gonna be trying on their next matte lipstick, and this was in Vancouver. It looks like a dark purple. It's great for Halloween since it's around the corner, and we're gonna go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, yeah, this is definitely a nice deep purple for like a goth or like a witch kind of like outfit that you can do for Halloween. This is super cute. Cute. kind of reminds me of like the Mac one that I have but this is really great again it's from NYX so it's going to be great consistency and only a dollar so cannot believe how much money I spent literally nothing but now we're going to be moving on to their NYX professional crystal liner and this one I've actually used before a very very long time ago I was really surprised to see it again at the 99 cent store so I was like what the hey you know you only live once let's try it again and Wow, this is super pigmented. Anything from NYX is really, really good. And I've actually bond this before, so it does really stay for a very long time. Usually like seven hours max, but you're definitely gonna have to reapply if you're gonna be wearing it to like a party or something like that. This is gonna have to be reapplied. But this is so cute. You can see on the top right there, the lips are kind of smeared, so don't mind that purple stuff. But right here on the top, you can see the gold and it's super shiny. You can even see it from this distance from the camera and in person It's like super glittery and like gold and it's really cute. So definitely worth the buy. But yeah, this little thing is so cute I love NYX. So the next thing is gonna be this eyeliner brush and I've been needing one for a long time But I'm actually gonna be using it for my brows and I love how precise it is So we're gonna go ahead and see if it works. I'm gonna be using this pomade from elf and I'm gonna see if it's really good Wow, so look at that. This is a line that I just made with a brush so it's really good. I like how it does have like a fine point to the very end so it does make like that very fine hair like. If you're going to be using like pomade I would definitely recommend this brush or if you're trying to do like an eyeliner like a cat eye or something like that it would definitely be really great but it's worth the buy. This is from Elite the company and from the 99 cents store. Just amazing. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is this other thing. This is not cosmetic really but but it's still beauty and this is for your hair but I've been seeing a lot of people using clips in their hair on like Instagram and on YouTube and this is super inexpensive this is from Halsa that's the name of the brand and I really do love it because I do have a lot of hair and it's really thick so I really do need a big chunky clip to hold up my hair when I'm taking a shower when I'm working out or when I'm just cleaning I really do especially during the summer I really do need my hair up and out of my way because I do sweat and perspire a lot with all my hair it just traps in a lot of heat if you know what I mean comment down below if you know what I mean but yeah this is really great and the last thing to this 99 cents for haul 
and this is not again cosmetic related but I thought I would add this in for people who need to wear their masks still since in LA we still have to wear the mask um, and I know parts of the world they still need to wear masks so if you have a mask mandate go to your 99 cent store because they have these cute diamond masks and it's silk material at the 99 cent store this is so amazing I've been seeing so many people selling their silk mask on Etsy and different sites and they like sell for like 45 to like a hundred and this was a dollar and it has like the diamonds on the top which is a super cute detail if you want to you know like stand out like me so this is really cute you can put it over your face and I'm going to show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like it's super cute and if you're talking with the mask on it's super breathable because it also has some like adjustments to the ear so if it's like too tight you can loosen it which this is actually just nice for me so if I wanted to loosen it up I could definitely like loosen it up on the ear but yeah this is so cute I actually got so many other masks from there they have like pearls and they have different ones but this one is like the cutest and I was actually using it the other day when I was like out with my boyfriend we were like shopping like like all day getting all this stuff and I use this and so many people were telling me like it was so cute and like where did I get it and I told them 99 cent store 99 cent store 99 cent store so this is so worth the buy and everything again was a dollar each even this mask except for the L'Oreal lipstick it was the only thing that was a dollar 99 but still a dollar and plus tax so if you like this video give it a thumbs up it helps with the algorithm and also if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe down below let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you like this video and if you want another video like this or future ideas for future tutorials, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. I love you, be safe, and see you in the next one.